Train horns are an important safety measure to inform vehicles and pedestrians when a train is coming. Federal law requires that locomotive horns begin sounding 15 to 20 seconds before entering public highway rail grade crossings, no more than one quarter mile in advance to ensure the safety of vehicles and pedestrians. They also must be at least 96 decibels and no more than 110 decibels. A quiet zone is a section of rail line that contains one or more consecutive public crossings that are exempt from this rule. The Federal Railroad Administration, the agency that establishes and enforces rules for trains across the country, passed the train horn rule in April of 2005, allowing a quiet zone to be created after the risk of not blowing a train horn has been mitigated. This promotes quality of life without compromising the safety of vehicles or pedestrians. This video will show you how quiet zones were created in Orange County. Orange County is home to the nation's largest collection of railway quiet zones, spanning 52 railroad crossings in six cities. The project, completed in 2012, was a partnership of transportation providers and cities. The entire process took seven years and cost $90 million. 88% came from a public transportation tax supported by Orange County citizens and the remaining 12% was paid for by the cities. The cities, which must apply for a quiet zone designation, also assumed the cost of any increases to liability insurance as well as the ongoing cost of maintenance at the crossings. Uh, we had a couple of grade crossings, one in Orange and one in Santa Ana that was particularly troublesome. Uh, we had a great deal of neighborhood concerns about horns honking and noise and things like that. So we got to work with the city council, both cities. When pursuing quiet zone status, we were part of a greater initiative uh, from the Orange County Transportation Authority, uh, which is the countywide organization which handles mass transit here in Orange County. Several cities championed this opportunity and OCTA board took action to combine the improvements necessary for a quiet zone with the improvements being made as part of the Grade Crossing Safety Enhancement Program. As part of the effort to establish the quiet zone, safety enhancements were made to a total of 56 crossings in eight cities, including Anaheim, Dana Point, Irvine, Orange, San Clemente, San Juan Capistrano, Santa Ana, and Tustin. The cost of these enhancements averaged $1.6 million per crossing. The cost to each city ranged from $35,000 in Fullerton to $3.7 million in Orange. Each crossing was evaluated and specific improvements were identified to enhance safety. In 2009, construction began on these improvements, which included new warning signs, automatic pedestrian gates, tactile warning strips, railing to guide pedestrians, extended medians, and exit gates. Once these safety improvements were completed in 2012 and approved by the FRA, the cities were able to establish a quiet zone, changing the noise at their crossings from this to this. I personally think Metrolink should be strongly in favor of quiet zones. Uh, we run trains and they make some noise. Our residents do benefit greatly from having a quiet zone here in the city. I believe the program was a win-win in Orange County. From the railroad side, we were able to enhance safety at all the great crossings along the railroad corridors. The cities and the community received the benefit of no train horns. For more information on quiet zones in your community, please visit metrolinktrains.com slash quietzones.